One of the basic elements of all awareness practices is the question, as we've talked about. But coming up with an answer isn't the goal of these questions. The questions trigger the looking inward. Asking is the practice. The asking is the practice of awaring. So here's a sample of some questions that will direct you inward. Think the thought, I exist, and notice what that feels like. Then ask yourself, how do I know I exist? See if you can answer that question without words or concepts, but only by noticing the feeling of existing, of being. How do I know I exist? What's the evidence? Outside of thought, what's the evidence? And here's a perfect quick inquiry to point you to your true nature. Ask yourself, who or what is noticing my body? Whoever it is or whatever it is, it's not your body. It's you, yes, but it's not your body. So then, who or what are you? Who or what is noticing your experience? Is there anything you can think of that's not noticed by this mysterious something that notices all of your experience? Anything you can think of or name, including your body, your mind, and your personality, is noticed by something. So it cannot be that something or that nothing, if you prefer, since it has no qualities of its own. Anything with qualities can be noticed. What's noticing? I am. Who or what am I? Who notices that? It's an infinite regression. As Rumi puts it in A Community of the Spirit, flow down and down and down in always widening rings of being. And remember, the mind can't really get it. That's not its job. But you can feel into it, play with it, and open to the indescribable source of it all, your own infinite self. So here's a more detailed series of direct inquiry questions. We can use these to walk ourselves back to our true selves. First, take a slow, easy, deep breath and relax. Think of your name. Ask yourself, who or what is noticing my name? Ask, is this name me? Or is there something larger that is aware of this name? Is that me? Whatever your answer is, ask, who or what is noticing that? Think of your face. Ask yourself, what's noticing my face? Ask, is this face me? Or is there something else that's aware of my face? 
Is that me? Whatever your answer is, ask, who or what is noticing that? Think of your body and all of its sensations. Ask yourself, what's noticing my body? Is this body me? Or is there something larger that is aware of this body? Is that me? Whatever your answer is, ask, who or what is noticing that answer? Think of your mind. Ask yourself, what's noticing my mind? Is this mind me? Or is there something larger that is aware of this mind? Is that me? Whatever your answer is, ask, who or what is noticing that answer? Think of your personality. Ask yourself, what's noticing my personality? Who has a personality? Is this personality me? Or is there something larger that's aware of this personality? Is that me? Whatever your answer is, ask, who or what is noticing that? Think of your emotions. Ask yourself, what's noticing my emotions? Ask, are these emotions me? Or is there something larger that is aware of emotions? And is that me? Whatever your answer is, ask. Who or what is noticing that answer? Think of your memories. Ask yourself, what's noticing my memories? Are these memories me? Or is there something that is aware of memories? And is that me? And whatever your answer is, ask, who or what is noticing that? And think of all your talents and your abilities and your faults and your flaws and ask yourself, what's noticing my talents, my abilities, my faults, my flaws? Are these attributes me? Or is there something larger that is aware of these talents and flaws and strengths and abilities? Is that me? And whatever answer you come up with, ask, 
Who or what is noticing that? And lastly, think of your sense of me, your sense of yourself. Ask yourself, what's noticing me? What is aware of this sense of myself? Is this sense of me actually me? Or is there something larger that's aware of this? Is that me? And whatever answer you come up with, ask, who or what is aware of that? Simply know that anything about yourself that you can conceive of or name is not you. Why? Because there's something else that's larger or more spacious that's aware of that item. And that larger, spacious, clear, infinite something, which is actually nothing, is your real self. And indeed, everyone's real self. And you don't have to believe it. You just have to ask, is it possible that the universal self that is aware of everything through every sensate being is me? It's the I behind my eyes, behind my thoughts, behind my sense of myself, behind my beingness. It is pure beingness. And that's where happiness, peace, and joy live. In that clear, choiceless, loving ground of being, which is already here, already accepting, just waiting to be noticed. Noticed by what? By itself. The unconditional love of pure awareness. In other words, you. I. Now take another easy, deep breath. And when it's comfortable, at your own pace, if your eyes were closed, allow them to open.